It used to be that all it would take to be successful in sales was determination and grit and hustle. And while those aren't bad things, they're not enough if you want to find success in today's technology-soaked sales world. Now, one of the things that will definitely help isn't usually associated with sales, and that's creativity. So let's get into it on DTV. When I talk to salespeople, I often talk about the power of reading and the power of developing your skills uh, so that you can bring more to the table when you're working with customers or prospective customers. And it's really easy to go out and find sales books on how to prospect, how to close, how to you know build value, and that's all well and good. But I think one of the most important things that you can do if you're in sales right now, and more importantly, if you want to stay relevant in the sales world as we continue forward, is actually to build your creativity skills. And yes, I did say skills because I think that that's a better way of saying it. Creativity is not about just genius or about you know flashes of inspiration, but it really is about developing some tools to come into new situations and be able to uh, figure out uh, some, some new or novel solutions. So if reading is important and you can develop the skill of creativity, then it makes sense to do some reading about creativity. And these are some of the books that are in my library on creativity. This is Steal Like an Artist, a new one I got, really like it, Austin Kleon. Uh, the Dance of the Possible by Scott Birkin, really good stuff in here, definitely check it out. This is The Secret of the Highly Creative Thinker by Dora Nielsen and my friend Sarah Thurber, definitely worth checking out, some really cool pictures in there as well. Uh, creativity is another one. I'm not gonna try to say uh, Mahali's name, I think it's Mahali because that's a lot, but uh, really a great book worth checking out. I'll leave all the information down in the description below. These are all books that will help you develop the skill of creativity. And again, I think this is going to be a really important skill as we go forward in the sales world. And I think there's a couple major reasons why. The first reason I think it's important for you to develop your creativity and other human-centric skills is that machines are getting better and better at being machines. And machines are very good at routine tasks. And at least the old school way of selling was very routine. That's why hustle was important. And if you think that your value as a salesperson is your ability to just dial a phone, friend, you are going to lose. As a tech stack gets more and more robust and it gets more and more, um, I mean, they can just do cool things with technology these days. You're not gonna be able to compete with an AI and an auto dialer. So you have to find out something else that you can bring to the table. And what can you bring to the table? You can help your prospects and customers use the information that they already have access to. Selling used to be about providing information. It used to be about giving them the data, the facts and the figures. But your prospects and customers can get that with a Google search. They, they have all that they need. What pretty much every creativity expert or, or guru will say is that creativity at its heart is about taking two uh, disparate elements and bringing them together into something new, right? It's okay, you've got peanut butter, you've got chocolate, you put them together, delicious, right? And that takes practice. That takes some creativity practice, but also your customers and prospects don't often buy your solution. They're not thinking about it all the time. You are, and that's something that you can bring to the relationship. That's really how you provide value. And the third reason why creativity is going to be so important moving forward is that the roles and goals in a selling cycle are going to be in constant flux. The goals that the organization might have could change. The goals that the individuals will have within that sales cycle could change. Uh, the roles of people within that selling situation could change. The way you manage that is by always being open to the new opportunities, the new uh, possibilities that present themselves. And that takes practice. And that goes back full circle to why it's important that you develop the skill of creativity. These are just some of the ways that I think creativity is going to play an ever-increasing role in the sales process. And it's going to be the value that we can bring as salespeople. So make sure that you're developing that skill and we can all be creative. We might not all be artistic, 
but we can all be creative. Let me know any other ideas that you have about bringing creativity into your sales role down in the comments below. And of course, make sure that you subscribe to keep getting these videos from me. It'll make sure that they keep coming to your inbox and also it gives me a little hit of validation. And I'll see you next time on DTV.